connecting with others, exploration of interests, instant access to information, all are great things about the internet that we have today. However, this constant access to the web also can make it easy to find media that promotes and glorifies the negative aspects of eating disorders. Let's look at the research and science against these sites. Hi, I'm registered dietitian Libby Parker, and today's video was made in collaboration with Miranda Dashin, future sports psychologist extraordinaire, to inform you about the dangers of pro-ANA and pro-MIA websites. Pro-ANA, meaning pro-anorexia, and pro-MIA, meaning pro-bulimia, are both terms for sites promoting and sharing information helping people to stay in these disorders. While anyone can author blogs or videos pertaining to this, most of the authors are young women experiencing these disorders or in treatment for them. Many provide thinspiration or images and tips leading to the perpetuation of eating disorders. According to researcher Christo Daulu, not sure if that's pronounced right, one third of eating disorder patients have used a pro-ANA website. These sites may lead to developing an eating disorder in those already vulnerable or hinder recovery for those in the process. Because of the ease of access that many adolescents and young adults have to the internet and social media, these sites are part of the reason that many treatment facilities prohibit the extensive use of social media. An experiment by Bardone, Cohn, and Cass in 2007, 235 female undergraduate students were exposed to either a prototype pro Anna website, a fashion site with average size models, or a website showing home decor. Those who were shown the pro ana sites displayed lower self-esteem and efficacy, exercised more, thought of themselves as heavier than they truly were, and engaged in more image comparison than those not exposed. Another study that was done in 2018 builds on this by analyzing comments on a pro ana community on Reddit, a social forum site for a post related to disorder eating and weight. Of the 125 comments analyzed, 33% were related to weight dissatisfaction and preoccupation, and 18% involved food and caloric restrictions. One of the main results of the analysis was the high number of responses affirming the view of the original author's post, whether the post was about the author's lower weight or some sort of diet they were trying. Both studies show just how influential these sites are, especially for those in the midst of a disorder or with pre-existing vulnerabilities. Even randomly selected college students showed a strong inclination to believe the negative images and tips displayed on pro ana sites. Because of the ease with which women discount their health and their bodies, one could see the negative effects of mass media and the internet in our culture. Constant media bombardment with images of thin models and fat diets has taken a toll on the self-confidence of many women, and really all genders. The 2018 study proposed several ways in which pro ana and pro mia sites can be limited, ranging from altering the terms of use for sites like Facebook and Instagram, to promoting the replacement of negative sites with recovery-oriented chats and pages. Individuals who feel pressure from these sites can delete or block certain profiles, or report those that displayed negative images. Those in recovery from eating disorders may find it beneficial to connect with others who are also recovering, or view pages that specifically display body positive images. There are many, many pro-recovery groups on Facebook, Reddit, and other social media channels that can provide a positive community for those seeking support. While pro anasites may still have no legislation or laws against them, research studies like those referenced in this video, and many activists, affected people, and professionals are fighting to limit their influence. Earlier this year, the eating disorder community got up in arms and signed a petition to take down some pro ana books that were being sold on Amazon. We can make a difference if we are finding these things and reporting them. Let me know in the comments if you've heard of these sites before. Do you have any ideas for ways that we can stay above the influence? Please share them. If you're looking for a safe space for pro recovery and body positivity, please hit that subscribe button below and I've got more eating disorder recovery videos coming at you and you won't want to miss them. Mm -hmm.